Hey everyone, it's your girl Twin D and thank you for stopping by my channel. Thank you so much for joining me for this read. And this read is specifically going to be for the masculines with messages from your feminines. So thank you all for coming by. Thank you to all my subscribers. Thank you for subscribing, liking, sharing, and commenting. I do always try to respond to every single comment, if not in the very second, a minute after. <laughs> but anyways, thank you guys. Thank you to my new subscribers, old subscribers, those who are going to be subscribing after watching this video. <laughs> thank you so much. Again, guys, let's see what these feminists have to say and these messages are for the divine masculines. So if you're a masculine out there and you're searching for answers regarding this twin flame journey, these feelings that you have that you can't explain, this woman coming to you telling you that, hey, you're my twin flame or, hey, I have so much love for you, but you won't stay in my life. You keep running away from me and you masculine have so much feeling for this woman, but what to do you don't know what to do and you keep running away from her and you keep going back and you want answers these videos are for you so let's jump right in our father who art in heaven hallowed be thy name thy kingdom come that will be done on earth as it is in heaven give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us and lead us not into temptation but deliver us from evil for thine is the kingdom the power and the glory forever and ever amen okay guys so let's jump right in and let's see what these feminines have to say to you masculines okay okay feminines what do you want to say to your masculine first card the devil This card can be about addictions, but I'm not, I'm, I'm not feeling that this is a bad addiction here, that the feminine is so in love with you, doesn't want to let you go. And the same with you masculine. But like, like just what I, I said, you're so in love with this person. But you don't know what to do. You're so confused. You don't want to let this person go. You keep holding on to that cup. And that cup is, it signifies emotions. Your love, you keep holding on to that love. Like you're so obsessed with this love that you're feeling. And you don't know what to do about it. Same with the feminine. That's what she's saying. Okay. The emperor. Whenever you see this card, someone is standing in their strength, in their power. And this blue represents the throat chakra. So this is going to be communicated. So masculines, if you may get a message, something, email, whatever it is from your feminine, with her expressing her feelings towards you, because the orange is all about feeling how they're feeling their emotions so you may get some form of message some form of communication from your feminine regarding how she feels about you because even looking the back that's her standing there just looking at you can't take her eyes off you because you're her emperor you're her king The one that's there to help you, to guide you, to protect you, to help you to make decisions. The person that God has put in your life for you 
to help you overcome struggles, tribulations, sadness, hurt. That's what she's there for. That's what these feminines are here for. And that's what you are also here for. What she does for you, you will do for her. Anything else feminine that you want to say? Ten of Cups. And this yellow is about planning. This is what she wants. With you, Divine Masculine. The Ten of Cups. If you look, you see that picture with the family in the back. That's what she's wishing for. A family. Happy life. Happy home. Ten of Pentacles. It's a wish. That's what she wants. And the abundance. Everything. The family. The financial abundance and freedom. The wealth. Anything else coming in? The Four of Wands. The Four of Wands. Oh my God. The Four of Wands alongside the Ten of Pentacles. This, these are wishes and dreams coming through here. This is what she wants with you, masculine. She wants a happy life, happy, long, happy home. Her wish, her dreams coming through with you. Because she's the one here. You're not beside her. You're just in her imagination, in the picture, her dreaming and thinking. And the four of wands is all about marriage commitment. And the green signifies the heart chakra. That's how she feels about you. And all these butterflies just shows how much that she's transforming. She's transforming. She's becoming a better person for you. Just saw 444 on my counter. If you haven't watched my 444 video, you go and watch it now. <laughs> then you'll get a better understanding of what these numbers mean when you see them. These divine feminines are transforming for you and for herself. Because when she's a better person for herself, then she's a better person for you, masculines. And this masculine energy does not have to mean that you're a man or the feminine energy does not have to mean that you're a woman. It's just the energy that comes off of you, the one that's most dominant because in everybody you have both the masculine and the feminine energy. And the one that's most dominant, the one that takes over the most, that energy is what identifies you. And masculines, if you're watching this and you are the one that's running from this other person, then you're, you're the feminine energy. And if you're watching this and you're the one that's chasing after this person, wanting this person in your life, wanting to communicate, wanting to say, hey, I love you, you're the one for me, come back here, then you're the feminine energy. But the feminine energy is the one that's always chasing. And the masculine energy is the one that's always running. So these feminines are transforming. These butterflies, they signify transformation. And their heart is transforming also. They are not thinking and feeling how they used to before they met you. They are changing. And with her back turned, She's not fully completed. 
she hasn't transformed fully. And when she's finished, she's going to be the most beautiful butterfly, most beautiful inside and out, spiritually, mentally, emotionally. Everything is going to change. So she does want that marriage and commitment with you, long-term relationship, a happy family, happy life, because she sees you as her emperor, her king, and she cannot let go of this love that she's feeling for you. She cannot, and neither can you, masculines. Neither can you, and you don't understand why. But that's because you're meant to be together. Once you two start getting together, getting closer together, then you'll start to understand. She's the one for you. She is always going to be there for you. One more card, please. Hmm. Ah, boy. <laughs> one more card and I got two. <laughs> It's okay. If you listen to my videos, you always see. Because I'm always asking for one more card. And I never get one more card, you know? I never get one more card. I get two cards, three cards, whatever God wants to give me. And of course, I don't take my messages from these cards or, or, or whatever else. But I get my messages from God and they come through me and through the cards that I use for display. So I may not even say what the card means, but I say what I'm feeling from the energies that I get in, that I'm getting. Okay, so I have the two of coins, more emotions, more feelings. She wants things to be balanced with you, masculine. She wants things to be balanced. There she is, looking out, waiting. Waiting so she can have that happy life with you. It's, her feelings are dark and complicated at this time, just as your feelings are, because you don't understand why it is that you love this person so much, but you keep running away from her. And she does not understand why it is that she knows that you know that she loves you. And she knows that you do love her, but you keep running. And why is it that I cannot control myself. It always seems like a storm inside. But that's because things are not balanced as yet. But now she's standing, looking at, in the horizon, looking at the happiness that she knows that she can have with you, waiting for it to arrive, waiting for you masculine to arrive to say, come, let's start our lives together. Let's have this commitment, long-term relationship, this marriage, this happy life, this, let's fulfill our wishes. Let's stand and be the king and queen, the emperor and the empress that we are. Because once you two are together, God's gonna start to bless your union. Your life is gonna expand you're going, to, you're going to start to flourish. Abundance is waiting for you. Financial abundance. You're going to finally see the gifts that God has for you once you two are together. And she's waiting for the balance. She wants to feel balance. And then we have temperance. There she is, being patient. She's been patient, patient, waiting for her cups to be filled, waiting to fill your cup. And at the beginning, you see her with the cup, the cup that she has for you, her love that she has for you, holding on to that love that she has for you. And at the end, you're giving into her cup. 
she's going to give back into your cup. And this, the red signifies that it's coming from the root of everything. The root of everything. That's where everything is going to come from. So this is deep. This is true love. This is true love. See if I can get some space here. Okay. All right, let's see if I can clarify these cards and let's see if I can get some more messages for you. Okay. What is this devil card about, Divine Feminine? What is this devil card about? Again, the Two of Pentacles, just like we have here. It's about being balanced. Wanting her, her emotions to be fulfilled. Wanting to make things balanced between you and her masculine. She wants to have you in her life. She wants this running and chasing to stop. She wants you to come and fulfill her wishes. Because the next card that I got is a star card which is all about wishes and dreams. Seven and one is eight, abundance again. She wants abundance, she wants to be, to be filled. And she's just holding on to all the emotion that she has for you. All these cards. She's holding on to all the emotion that she has for you, all the feelings that she has for you. Tell me about this Emperor card. What is this Emperor card about, please? Two of Wands. That's about planning. In this deck, the, it would, it's the two of fire, but it's the two of wands about planning. Planning to be your empress. Planning to have her emperor back with her. Planning to show her emperor all the love that she feels for him. Taking care of her emperor because she knows her emperor will stand by her, protect her, guide her. Just as this light is guiding that giraffe, she's going to always be there for you. This is someone who's never going to let you go, Divine Masculine. There's no breaking up here. There's no breaking apart here. Because all the struggles that you're going through now, the back and forth, the in and out, that's just clearing away all those things. Because when you're together, those things will never have any place in your lives. Tell me about this Ten of Pentacles. Seven of Pentacles, which is a seven of Earth, which is watching your investments grow. And look, Ten of Coins, Ten of Pentacles, Seven of Pentacles. Just watching your hard work grow. There you go, it's saying the same thing. That's her hard work. That's what she wants. She wants a happy life, happy home with you. She wants her wish fulfillment. She wants her wishes to be fulfilled.
And then we have the five of cups. This is all about her emotions. She's having a little doubt, a little regret, wondering if this is ever going to happen. Wondering if the way that she feels, is it right? Because she doesn't see any action or she doesn't see herself getting any closer to this wish fulfillment. Any progress getting closer to her masculine. And she's wondering. They're just looking at her pentacle. Wondering. Is this the right choice? Did I make the right choice? Why do I feel this way? Why do I feel this way about this person, but yet still I don't see any progress? Tell me about the Four of Wands, the Three of Cups. Again, regarding to the heart, celebration. And the Three of Cups is celebration and the card that, that is clarifying is also about celebration. Look at all that green. Her heart is just, she's just in love with you. She cannot express herself. It's all about her emotions right now. The way that she's feeling about you. She wants to celebrate with you. This confirms it. She wants to celebrate. Three of, three of water is a three of cups. And that's about celebration. That's about celebration. That's what she wants with you. To celebrate. To start your lives together. To be happy. She definitely wants to celebrate with you. Tell me about this two of coins, two of pentacles. Look again. The ten of pentacles, ten of earth. She wants her dreams and wishes to come through with you. She wants everything to be balanced. And on this card, you can truly see balance because there's five coins here on this side and five coins here on that side. So she wants things to be balanced on both sides, both her side and your side. She wants the feeling. And these pentacles represent like it's an earth, earth energy, which is why it's a 10 of earth, which is something in the 3D that you can feel and touch. So this is definitely going to come through for you guys. And the 10s are all about endings for a new beginning. And that's what she wants, a new beginning with you. She's so just sitting and waiting and hoping for balance to come into her life. And her soul is being guarded by her guardian angels. If I don't know if you can see the wolf. But her soul is definitely being protected just for you, masculines, just for you. Just for you. Tell me about this temperance card, please. Tell me about this temperance card. <laughs> oh my God, I, I love this reading. Divine Masculines, come on. If you see this reading, man, and you, you don't believe what's going on, oh my God, send me an email. <laughs> ah, the sun. And what did we have before? The star. There are two stars. 
The two stars. Wishes. Wish upon a star. And this is a number 10, an ending for a new beginning. And it signifies a new beginning. Sun signifies happiness. Prosperity. Blossoming. To be happy. Contented. Nothing can shake you. Nothing can move you. This is what she knows that is coming for her. Which is why she's having patience regarding this relationship, regarding you and your actions. Which is why when you go and you come into her life, she still accepts you the next time you come because she knows that this is what is in store for her. Because she's already connected to this energy, this journey. She knows what this journey is about. Oh my God, look at the bottom of the deck, which signifies the overall energy. Patience again. Patience. And the four and one is five, which is all about change. And while doing this reading in the beginning, I saw five, five, five on my little clock. Fives are all about changes. Go and watch my 555 video. <laughs> what patience. Patience and wishes. That's what she's hoping for. Her wishes to be fulfilled and she's having patience for this. So you can take your time, work on yourself. Well, don't take too much time, okay? Because she's having patience, knowing that you're going to come in. Knowing that you're going to come in. Let's get some romance angels and see what she has to say about the love that she has for you. Divine feminine. Flirt. She wants you to flirt with her. She wants to feel that warm-hearted energy. Extend your light-hearted energy to others. That's what she wants you to do. She likes it. I love when he flirts with me. That's what I just heard. I love when he flirts with me. I love it too. <laughs> Attraction. You attract romantic love by enjoying this moment fully. Enjoy the moment. Whenever these moments come along, divine masculine, where you get to interact with your feminine, enjoy them fully. Because by doing that, you're going to attract more romantic love between both of you. Because that's what this journey is about, right? Finding the one true love that was made for you. So you'll be happy. No more sadness. And here she is. Divine Masculine, here she is. But there are things that you have to work on and clear before you two can be together permanently. This love will never die between both of you. You will never die. It will never die. And heart to heart conversations. Honestly discuss your feelings with each other. As I said, with the blue chakra, communication. She wants you to talk to her. She wants you to talk to her. She wants to have conversations with you so she gets a better understanding of what you're feeling. If you're making plans for her in the future or you're working on something that that's why it's stopping you from being together, she wants you to let her know because she does have patience and she will have patience with you. So it's nothing to fear, nothing to worry about. Free yourself. It's time to take back control of your life. If I'm masculine, it's time for you to take back control of your life. Get rid of anything that does not serve you. Your feminine is waiting for you. Your queen, your empress is waiting for you. 
she is moving on with her life, but she hasn't forgotten about you. She's moving on because she has to work on herself as much as you have to work on you. So she too can clear all the negative energy. So she can be the woman that's for you. And she can be the woman for herself that she truly wants to be. On the bottom of my deck, I have forgiven and learning. As you release and heal the past, you experience more love in your present moment. Exactly. You got to free yourself. Release all the negative energy, all those people that does not serve you, your exes that mean you no good. Your exes that the only thing they do is take advantage of you. Every and any things, thing that doesn't serve you, you have to forgive them, release them, and move on with your life, both you, masculine and feminine. Because your future should not include heartache and pain. And if you take the heartache and pain with you in the future, that's all you're going to have. So you have to let go of the hurt and the pain or any and everyone and anything that causes you hurt and pain and they are always causing you hurt and pain. You have to release them. Heal the past before you can move forward. And when you do this, you'll experience more love in the present situation. Okay, let's get some messages from your feminine. Let's see what she has to say. Directly coming from your feminine. Okay, first one. Look at that. The first thing, I love you so much. She does love you so much, first scared, holding on to that love, don't want to let go. She loves you so much. Second card, no need to worry about money. We will be abundant together. That's her wish. For you guys to be abundant together. So you may not be Bill Gates. <laughs> but she's saying don't worry about that. You make money together. And of course you will. Because when God starts to put those blessings. That he has in store for both of you. You're going to start to see money coming in. Like you never knew. Oh my gosh. You're my king. And I am your queen. What did I say about the emperor? about the emperor card see my cards don't lie because god gives me these messages and god never lies you are my king and i am your queen there you go there you go although we are far apart i can still feel you near Definitely. You're not in each other's lives right now, but trust me, she can still feel you. She still feels you. She may seem like she's moving on, but she still feels you. I love this next card. <laughs> Please unblock me. <laughs> so Divine Masculine, do you have your feminine blocked on social media, wherever? Unblock her. She wants you to unblock her, which is definitely why she wanted this communication to come in. That's why she wanted that communication to come in. There she is telling you again, please unblock me. I want to communicate with you because she misses you so much. She misses you so much. <laughs> I love that. <laughs> On the bottom of my deck, it says, I pray for you every day. That's how much she loves you. She prays for you, wanting the best for you. Divine Masculine, 
that has been your reading. Your divine feminine really loves you. She wants a happy life, happy home with you. That's all she wants, a commitment, long-term commitment, a marriage, a family. That's all she wants with you. Never to hurt you. There's nothing in these cards talking about hurt. Nothing on this twin flame journey that's talking about hurt and pain unless it's something for you to release. When it comes to the masculine and the feminine, the king, the queen, the emperor, the empress, it's all about love. It's all about love because you're put together by God and God is about love. There's nothing painful about anything that God has put together. Mind you, you have to release the pain and that's hurtful, but it's so you can live in love and feel happiness and joy without any remorse of anything that had happened before. So Divine Masculines, please unblock your feminines. <laughs> And be gentle with her, okay? Hold on, hold on, hold up. Hold up. Hold up. Guidance message, guidance message. Yep, I've been told to give you guys a guidance message here. <laughs> okay, what is it? What guidance do you want to give these masculines and feminines, please? Okay, look at that. Three cards at once. Spiritual understanding. Archangel Raziel. I am bringing you esoteric information and symbols and helping you understand spiritual truth. So divine masculines, if you're seeing like signs and synchronicities, which means there are things that are happening over and over, you're hearing her name, you're seeing her name, you're seeing a particular number over and over, you're seeing a symbol, animals, something like in this card, the dove. You may be seeing a bird, something you're seeing over and over. It's guidance coming from above. It's guidance coming from above. Spread your wings. Archangel Ariel, do not hold back right now. The timing is perfect and you are ready to soar. So Divine Masculine, don't hold back. It's time for you to soar. It's time for you to have what was promised to you by God. A woman that will love you forever. A woman that will serve you her king. A woman that you will love forever. A woman that you will serve your queen, your empress. And we have relationship harmony. Archangel Raguel, we angels are opening the hearts of everyone involved. Arguments and conflicts are being resolved now. So if there was any argument on, and conflict between you two, trust and believe that God is resolving these things right now. Right now. He says so. Right now. It's time for harmony in your relationship. Which is why you shouldn't hold back. Indigo and crystal children. They're promised to you. Children. Beautiful children that you two are going to have together, which is a part of your abundance. Indigo and crystal children. Archangel Metatron. You have a bond with children. In particular, you can help children who are sensitive. And this can also mean the child within you, working on your childhood wounds. That's what I'm getting. The children that you two are going to have together. How your bond is going to be so strong because of these children. Okay. Okay told to read this one. On the bottom of the deck, crystal clear intentions. Archangel Michael, be clear about what you desire and focus upon it with unwavering faith. Focus on what you want. Divine Masculine, if you want this happiness, focus upon it. Divine Feminine, if you want this happiness, focus upon it. 
because God will give you what he promised and you will have this love of a lifetime. There you go. Now that has been your reading. Please remember to like, share, and subscribe. And please keep coming back to view more messages. <laughs> Take care of yourselves, everyone. Love you all. Bye.